Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we are going to be doing our summer evening routine. Typically, I am on my own during like the school year for getting the girls ready in the evening, getting them to bed and all of that good stuff. But tonight we are doing our summer evening routine. So when everybody's home, this is kind of what we do. We go straight into straightening mode and getting dinner ready. I am going to do a video when school starts, kind of in the fall or winter, so that you guys can see what I would actually be doing most nights. This is kind of just an unusual circumstance being in the summer, but I also wanted you guys to see what we do when we are all together, kind of how our evening goes. So I am folding up some laundry. We had a lot of laundry to do. And I have the girls clean up their room probably every day. I would say generally it's every day. Um, it just kind of depends. They had made a mess and spilled some water on the mattress. As you can see, the blinds are a mess. They're just a hot mess most of the time. So I made them clean up their room before they could even play in there because it was just so messy. And while we are doing all of our chores, Babe has started getting dinner ready for us and he has done most of the cooking this summer so we are really 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 lucky we are gonna have to get back into meal prepping soon so that i can just have easy meals because the night goes really really fast during the school year so i felt super bad for alan when he was cooking because during this part right here I told him you don't have to be a rock star because sometimes he gets really like going fast when he's cooking, cutting, doing anything. He gets really like super excited and just gets going too fast. And so I told him like, slow down, take it easy. Just because I'm filming, you don't need to do anything special or fun. I didn't want him to cut himself, but I guess I really ended up jinxing him <laughs> and he did get hurt. So it kind of put a little damper on the evening that he got hurt. Oh, babe. Do you want a real quick? Yeah. I told you you didn't need to be a rock star. Babe, oh my gosh, babe. Holy crap. You're gonna need like a glove, too, damn it. It's gonna bleed right through. You need paper towel on it. Just put paper towel on it for a little while. Mm. That's a bad one. So his cut was actually pretty bad and I was afraid that he was going to need stitches so it kind of put a little bit of a damper on our filming. For dinner we were having a cauliflower fried rice. We just put the frozen uh, bag of cauliflower in with the tomatoes and onions and the sauce. And that's kind of just a clip that I left out and you guys didn't get to see that. But with some, we actually made them into tacos, but it was ground beef with onion, tomato, and jalapeno and spices in it. And we put them in some low carb tortillas with sour cream on top. We have been doing a keto diet and for me and Alan, we don't necessarily have the girls do it, but we've been doing a keto diet um, and I really enjoyed it. I thought about making some videos on that if you guys are interested. So let me know in the comments below. So this family time around the dinner table is obviously a highlight to me of any day. It is very, very rare that we get this time together. Um, during the school year, like I said, Alan isn't able to be home a lot or when he is home, it's very sporadic, like, hey, a quick meal here and there or just very, very random times. And so when we can actually just be all together and enjoy a nice meal and talk and just spend the evening together, Nobody's rushing anywhere or has to be back at school or this or that or wherever. It is really, really nice and I cherish these times. And I was actually really glad that I could film this video during the summer. I wasn't originally planning on that because it's, like I said, not our typical routine. Alan hasn't had a summer off 
uh, since before Kensington. So it's really rare and I wasn't planning on it because it's not our typical thing, but I'm really glad that it ended up working out this way because it will be nice to look back on this and kind of just see what our evening was like when we were able to all be together. But I will definitely be doing one later on into the fall or winter, like I said, so that you guys can see kind of more of what a typical evening would be with just me and the girls. So after dinner, typically I will kind of straighten up and so I'll let the girls kind of do their own thing. But Alan said that he was going to clean the kitchen later. So I walked in on the girls. They were doing their iPad and they said they wanted to be in the dark. So I just let them do their thing. And I decided I have really, really, really been neglecting Brinley, brushing her, keeping her groomed. So I decided, okay, I don't have to do the dishes. So I'm going to go ahead and just brush Brinley and give her some attention that she has desperately been needing. I got two huge piles. Um, I wanted to show you guys, but it was just hair got everywhere. It was crazy. It was a mess. Um, but Kinsey actually came and joined me and was my little helper doing, doing Brinley's brushing. So after the girls had a little bit of downtime watching their iPad, they wanted some popsicles. And like I said, this is not a typical thing. So normally if it's just me with them, they will want to do something like paint or Play-Doh or whatever. But it seems like when Alan's home, they're a lot more just chill to do whatever. Um, so we took this time to go ahead and do some of their things that we've been working with them on. Kensington is in speech therapy twice a week. So I was working with her on some words that they are wanting her to get better at saying. And Kira, we've been working with her all summer trying to get her extra prepared for kindergarten because she is going to be the youngest in her class. And we didn't want her to feel behind if we could help it. So we just thought while they were having their popsicles, we would take some time to kind of work on some of these things together that we have been practicing. And after everybody got done with their popsicles, it was time to start getting ready for bed. So we brushed teeth and got our pajamas on and I don't get to read to the girls every single night. Um, but tonight we wanted to make time for it because like I said, we were all there together. We're getting ready to start school next week. So this is one of our last nights together. So we wanted to make sure that we squeezed in some time for reading to the girls, especially since they kind of did their own thing this evening. Um, they played, they did a little bit of time on the iPad, um, but generally the evenings go pretty quick. There's not a lot of time to do stuff because they do go to bed pretty early. I try to get them to bed um, in between seven and eight. I like to be as close to seven as possible because they just have a really, really hard time being overly tired and then it takes them forever to fall asleep no matter what time I put them to bed. So I feel like if I put them to bed at seven and then they don't fall asleep until 8.30, then that's what I want them to do to try to get more rest. And then we say our family prayers and hugs and kisses and everybody gets tucked into bed. After I get the girls down for bed, I will take Brindley outside so that she can go to the bathroom and kind of walk her around a little bit. And then I feed both Bailey and Brindley. I try to feed them around like eight o'clock. Sometimes it's nine, sometimes it's 7.30. It really just depends when they start meowing and whining and getting all restless and letting me know that they are ready to eat. After we got the girls down and took care of the animals, we had some work to do in our room. We had some laundry to work on and cleaning up a little bit. So we got to doing that. I try my best to get stuff done once I put the girls in bed, but I'm going to be honest, some nights I just chill out. I'm done for the day, whether Alan is there or not. Um, and tonight we didn't do a whole lot. We just did a little bit of laundry and then decided that we were ready to get in bed and just veg. Also something that we rarely do is watch TV or movies, especially in our room. But lately we've been watching a show in our room, not every night, but it's something that we really like to do. And like I said, school's getting ready to start back up again. So we're soaking up every little bit of time that we have together uh, before things really start getting hectic. So we like to wind down with sometimes a snack, but um, definitely a movie or a show and just be able to spend that quality one-on-one -on -one time together. I hope you guys enjoyed our summer evening routine video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.